What is up YouTube, it's your boy Trev Goat here today bringing you another Call of Duty Blackout video and today's video will be going inside the mind of Trev Goat. I'll be telling you what's going on inside my mind as I'm playing this game. Um, and so we're starting it off right now with uh, my landing strat. Um, I always land in this building in solos, probably 90% of my games. If I don't get this building, it's probably because somebody else landed here and I just uh, go off to another building so I don't die right away. Starting off with this game, I think I heard someone uh, coming from the east here, and or I heard him land, and then I heard him running over here, um, so he was an easy kill. I had a MX-9, which is a pretty good um, close range gun. Um, if you haven't checked out my submachine gun videos, they'll be in the description below and you can uh, rate the submachine guns as you would like. So right here, um, I heard the shooting and I figured that somebody um, was probably dead in here. I had looter on, so I knew there was a bag right there. And um, I knew somebody was weak in this building and obviously I jumped around the corner and he is super weak and get an easy kill. Um, that's just something that you'll learn over time is uh, basically if they're shooting, you can either run towards it and try to get the kill but sometimes you gotta kinda be careful just in case um, you know someone is full health. So another tip here is I just place a bunch of mesh mines in Rivertown and I do this probably every time that I go in Rivertown. Everyone is always going through this town um, so it's super easy to get a kill um, with people driving through not even paying attention. And just like that I get another kill by gas and I get some nice shots into um, another guy by gas, uh, but he was able to get away, and um, I think I just end up looking for the kill here. So I guess my thought process on this was I kind of wanted to flank around a little bit uh, just to see if I could catch him off guard. Um, I'm not sure if I had uh, dead silence or anything on. I don't think I did. Um, so I wanted to be a little bit careful, maybe stay in place a little bit just so maybe I could hear him and uh, get a feel for where he was. So I ended up seeing that four-wheeler go through town there. And what I was thinking was maybe those shots would lure this guy out. Um, since he heard where I was now, maybe he would come and try to, you know, kill me. But uh, he ended up not, and he's being a little bit more cautious. I popped dead silence. Um, so now that uh, he can't hear me, and then I can go through town here and see if I can get the kill. And just a small tip uh, for going in these buildings, always be cautious. I knew I had dead sound, so maybe I could hear him. Um, but always check all of the corners because you never know, you know, someone's going to be sitting in town in a corner um, and then you die and that's really frustrating. So make sure you check your corners. And since I did have dead silence on, I really wasn't too scared of them hearing me uh, going in the building. I didn't really want to open too many doors or anything just uh, in case there was a guy. And I think I ended up hearing some people as I'm crouching down even though I have dead silence. So I did hear him. And one tip here was that I... Um, I could have started shooting at that first guy because I saw him first, but I knew there was another guy in there, so he started shooting and I just used um, the guy as bait, basically. Here's another tip. Um, I feel like River Town is the center of, or not the center, but um, it's either right on the edge of circles or it's in the circle. Um, so if it's right on the edge of circles, a huge tip is to always like camp. Um, the back side of the circle because you know there's always going to be people running in and if you do not if or if you don't camp that circle um, people are just going to be behind you anyway and then you could potentially get shot in the back I mean I don't want to say you know camp a bunch um, but you can obviously see I'm moving around and trying to actively look for kills as people are moving in um, but that's just a tip that I'll give you and you'll see this as a common theme throughout my um, next five videos. Um, I actually had five videos in a row. Um, or well, I just got that guy now. But I had five videos in a row with over 10 kills. And um, I do basically the same thing every game. And I, I know that it works. For example, right here. I know there's that guy in the distance. 
but I didn't shoot at him because I knew um, there was another guy shooting him at him that was closer. I didn't want to shoot over the guy's back and then him end up hearing me. Um, so that's just an, another tip for you guys. Don't always shoot at the obvious guy. Shoot at the guy that's basically not looking at you. Um, that's easy to third party. I had some bad shots at that guy right there. He got away a little bit. Um, I know this guy had a sniper, um, so I wanted to switch out uh, my gun quick and get that sniper quick. So now that I have the sniper, um, I got a nice hit on one guy on the bridge and then took too much time with this guy on the four-wheeler and he actually tries to run me over bad move um, tries to get out super weak and I end up killing him super easy um, not a very smart play and right there I kind of wanted to lose his body but I just popped a trauma and I didn't really want to waste another one um, so I decided to run back into the zone all right so now we have moved closer to the end of the game there are nine players left. Um, I've got seven kills already. I just got uh, hit a little bit uh, from the distance here. Just trying to find uh, where that guy is. Um, I know I have this hill to my advantage right here, so I just wanted to you know, try to only peek out. And I finally ended up seeing this guy, and he made a bad mistake. So right here, I was just kind of, um, you know, waiting for this guy, using the storm to my advantage. Um, I was right next to the storm, and I knew that guy was going to have to run in. Um, but I also didn't want to get shot in my back as I checked my back right there. Um, so I knew this guy, the storm was going to hit for a bunch. Um, so if he didn't run in, um, he was going to die anyway. Um, so I was just making sure I looked out for him. And he actually ends up climbing up top of the building and I get an easy kill while he is running into the zone um, and then I get shot from the side here and I didn't see him right away either until he shoots again at me laying on the ground over there with no cover um, not a very good move it's so right here two left usually in these situations I try to let um, the other two fight first um, just so then you can third party and get that easy victory um, but I ended up seeing this guy first and getting a nice tag uh, trying to use my concussion to my advantage right here but ended up not getting a tag um, and another guy laying in the grass thinking that that's going to save him so right here's a 1v1 I figured that uh, he would have popped out by now or he was in this brick building probably um, he probably knew that I just killed the guy. I ended up seeing him peek over the hill and getting a nice headshot for the victory. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I got five solos coming for you with Inside the Mind of Trap Goats. And if you enjoyed the series, please hit that like button and subscribe for more. Thank you.